I'm Dr. Ashley Settles. I am the first um, daughter of Thomas Settles and Sandra Settles Perkins. I grew up in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I'm Dr. Allison Settles. I'm the middle child. Um, I actually also grew up in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Um, we, I have a brother that is, that he's 15 months younger than us, but he thinks he's older. We are the Settles siblings. Our parents made faith a huge priority in our household. My mom took us to church every single Sunday. Dr. Evans is somebody my mom listened to, somebody that was in the background. But that background of just as a child, it sowed a seed in my life. If I'm going through something challenging, I can go to Dr. Evans' ministry and there's always something that will address whatever I'm dealing with in my life. I can remember as a kid, uh, my mom would always cut on the loud preacher in the car. And uh, although I wasn't a believer and I did not really understand uh, the biblical passage he was talking about, I always remembered the stories. Like his illustrations would just make sense to me even at a young age. So uh, the loud preacher uh, was somebody who uh, was able to give stories that made sense. He, he was able to uh, share and communicate uh, in a way that uh, even a young child was able to understand the principles that he was sharing in the messages. His character and just, you know, his voice is very distinct. At the time, we cannot imagine the impact he would have made on our lives. You know, a camera is a very marvelous instrument. See, the camera must be focused right to capture the picture. In the camera, they have a little box and you get what the picture you want inside the box. No matter how good the camera is, if you're not focused right, the camera can't do you any good. And no matter how powerful God is, if you're not focused right, he can't help you. The best, most expensive camera in the world can't help you if you're not focused on the right picture. And God Almighty won't help you if you're not focused in the right direction. From a child, it was kind of like, you know, I was being made to listen to him, but as an adult, I choose to listen to his ministry. My mom was committed to listening to Moody Radio. We wanted to listen to something else. We wanted to listen to uh, Aaliyah or Notorious Big or Tupac or something else. So now looking back on it, we see that that was the Lord um, planting seeds in our life uh, that are still growing to this day. I can remember a time in college where my sisters and I were on a road trip. We were taking my grandfather to some family members in Ohio to visit. And like we were tired, we were rotating driving and we were trying to, you know, you do the scan on the radio. But I can remember us uh, scanning through the stations and hearing that uh, urban alternative uh, theme music and we immediately stopped. We heard Dr. Evans and all of us were like, trying to stop the radio. So again, this it was just that we were something that was tired, but we heard Dr. Evans' voice and we're like, okay, we got a second win. And we just locked in and were able to listen. And it was a true blessing for me and my sisters to just be able to uh, hear a message uh, from somebody who we love and respect and actually had an opportunity to reflect on how uh, far the Lord had brought us in our faith journey. So for me, uh, preaching is a, a amazing opportunity to bless the Lord because we are sharing what the Lord has told us to be true.